right? Yeah, if you're older, you're smarter. Louis C.K. Let's see what this one's saying. So this, this is, yeah. I'm doing this one and another one. And they should all come up at the same time. Should do. But yeah, uh, if you're older, you're smarter. Let's go. I don't know. I like getting older, though. Life is an education. And if you're older, you're smarter. I just believe that. If you're in an argument with somebody and they're older than you, you should listen to them. It doesn't mean they're right. It means that even if they're wrong, their wrongness is rooted in more information than you have. <laughs> They've been here longer. If you're older, you're smarter. How many people here by applause are 45 or older? 45 or older, applaud. Okay. That's about 60 people out of 2,400. Here's the interesting thing. There's way more. I can see you. There's so many more. There's so, this is Arizona. There are way more people in that demographic, but they didn't clap. Why? Because they're smart. They're sitting in the dark going, I don't have to clap. I don't have to do anything. They're not doing it. And they're right, you know why? Because never identify yourself. Never, are you crazy? You don't know why I'm asking. But what do you, how do you know what I'm, okay, burn them all. Burn everybody over 45. <laughs> how do you know what I'm gonna do that? <laughs> how many people here by applause are 40 or younger? 40 or younger, applaud. That's every time. <laughs> every time. That is a weird thing to celebrate in a room where you're not the only people here. That is, that's like going to cancer ward. Not me! Woo! <laughs> I don't have it! I don't have it! <laughs> if you're older, you're smarter. A 55-year-old garbage man is a million times smarter than a 28-year-old with three PhDs. <laughs> Especially smarter than him. Because this idiot has been thinking about three things for like 15 years. He's worthless. The garbage man is 55. He's had some experience. Things have happened to him. He went to Cape Cod one summer. He saw a dead guy floating in the motel pool. <laughs> He took a bus to Montreal. He got a hand job at a fair. <laughs> from a miner. <laughs> I mean a miner. <laughs> Not a miner, a miner. <laughs> you understand, a miner. A grown man who works in a mine <laughs> with dirty hands jacked him off at a county fair. That's what I'm saying happened to the 55-year-old. You see, he's had some experience. He knows more. More has happened to him, he's seen more. He's seen history. He's witnessed history, even if it's not ancient history. He saw Nixon resign on live television. Me and those few people that clapped, we saw the president of America cry and then quit being the president. That shit was crazy. Because <laughs> none of us knew what was gonna happen next. Today, people like the president's kind of disappointing. Really, our president wept like an insane person and then got in a helicopter and flew away. <laughs> And the whole nation just watched him go. <laughs> yeah, that strokes. I did think of something to say, but I can't remember what it was now. But that's mad, I didn't know that. You had a president that cried and quit. That's pretty crazy. But anyway, yeah, one more to go. Let's go.